have 10 more mugs to make before I hit 100, but I ran out of stoneware last week and haven't made time to mix more for myself, so I've been throwing with this mishmash of reclaimed porcelain from like a year ago. Some parts were way too squishy, and some parts were a little too hard, but it was nothing that an arm-numbing amount of wedging couldn't fix. Since I'm closing in on my 100 mug goal, I've been thinking about what to make with the leftover time between now and February 12th, and I've decided to throw as many medium-sized vases as I can. Vases of this size are less accessible price-wise, and I always lose money on shipping, but they are generally my favorite things to make, and that's enough of a reason to make them for me. So my upcoming drop is going to be entirely comprised of mugs, vases, and two jars. What that also means is that the drop after this is going to have zero mugs. Yeah, it's a bit of a bold choice considering how popular mugs always are, but I want to avoid getting sick of making them, so the upcoming drop is going to be your only chance to get one for a while. The good news is that my bowl people will probably be very happy come May. 